Alrighty, so this is going to be a reading for my Capricorns. Thank you so much for watching this. This is going to be a reading for January 25th through the 27th. So definitely make sure that you keep in mind this is going to be a general forecast. You do want to use a level of discernment when viewing this. And if you do want a reading that is going to be completely accurate for you, I definitely do recommend getting a personal session, whether it's with me or another reader. And if you are interested in getting one with me specifically, all my information to book me will be listed below as well as my Patreon link. If you do want to see the extended version of this reading where we will do a full spread on your love life and see exactly what the issues are and things of that nature for the next couple of days. Okay. Now let's go ahead and get straight into it. The first thing I want to talk about when it comes to this reading is the energy you guys just came from up into this point. Okay. And we do have the door to value and the Ten of Swords in reverse. So both of these cards coming up, this is definitely you guys focusing on your money manifestation, definitely making sure that when it comes to money opportunities that you're actually going after them, okay? This could be a new opportunity and money that just opened up randomly as well for some of you. Um, this could be like a new job or like you find out about a job through a friend and they recommend you to the manager and you get the position. This could also be, again, you having your mind on the money and money on your mind last week. OK, and with the Ten of Swords in reverse, you could have been completely just over a job that wasn't paying you enough or that was making you feel just overly worked. And in some cases, just feeling as if you're just wasting your time away, because whenever I see the Ten of Swords, this is like disappointment and just feeling like you're you're weighed down by so much. And with the Ten of Swords in reverse, this is you guys also coming out of this space of feeling very defeated and feeling as if you you didn't do enough for yourself. For some of you, you could have been beating yourself up for the fact that you haven't completed half of the goals that you wanted to complete in a while. And this is getting over that and being like, well, I'm not going to stay in this defeated energy. I'm not going to let my mind limit me to feeling lower than what I am. I'm going to shift that mindset and go get the bag. <laughs> OK, and like I said, a job really was just irking your nerves to non-existence. OK, I'm definitely seeing that for you guys uh, for a relationship. Hmm. A lot of you, you could have just felt like you were at your wits end with a relationship, but this is you guys like recovering from that and being like, well, again, I'm not going to let whatever happened in the past or just what's going on in the relationship stop me from moving forward. And with the justice card, for some of you, a relationship that may have ended may have came back into fruition because somebody may have wanted to work things out. This may be a Libra. Um, this person may have put you in a rock and a hard place because you may have had to decide which way you were going to move with this um, and if you were going to entertain it. Now, moving forward, let's talk about the energy that's going to be current. We do have the Page of Swords and the Adjacent Possibilities card. And with both of these cards showing up, for one, you guys are going to be realizing that there's so many ways to get to the destination that you guys are wanting to get to but through different means, through different doors. We always think that, okay, if we want to go through this, go to this career choice or on this career path, we have to do it a certain way. And that's not always the case. There's always loopholes or hmm, different ways to enter in certain career fields or in, in certain opportunities. And this is being able to figure out like exactly how you can put yourself in those opportunities. Also recognizing those opportunities when they show up. A lot of times we see the opportunities, but we don't ourselves take advantage of them because we neglect to see our own light and be like, okay, um, I'm good enough for this opportunity. So let me go after it. We just automatically assume that the worst is going to happen. So this is understanding that there is different possibilities to get to the same desired goal that you have in mind. It's just putting your mind to it. And with the page of swords as well, um, this is you guys looking at different opportunities. For some of you, you may even be doing some research on the internet on how you can make money online. Uh, you may have a certain idea 
that may come up out of nowhere as well with the page of swords this is like ideas coming in this is like getting inspired through conversation so you may have a conversation with possibly an air sign doesn't have to be but um you could have a conversation with someone and it could inspire you to want to do something um outside of what you've been usually doing with the three of swords in reverse and the page of wands in reverse this is again coming out of that disappointment energy feeling stuck feeling as if you know you are not happy with where you're at in life or for some of you guys we're going to talk about your love life as well but this is coming out of that disappointment here now when it comes to your love life if you are a single capricorn you may be realizing that there's so many different opportunities in your dating arena this could be you going out to clubs or you even possibly online dating some of you you may even have multiple options um that you're exploring to see which one is the door towards your soulmate or somebody who you can be with for a while here. And with the page of swords, um, again, you could be communicating with somebody who you met on the internet. Others of you, this is possibly you having petty communication with your partner as well. So if you're in a relationship, uh, there may be a, a need for you to try a different approach in communication. This is what I'm also seeing. But um, if you're if you're again online dating, I am seeing that there is going to be communication back and forth. If you're in the talking stages with someone. Again, I definitely would look at your options, but if you are in a committed relationship with someone or at least dealing with somebody exclusively, there's a different way to approach the connection so that you don't get your heart broken all over again, especially if. The communication is already fucked as it is. You guys need to, again, work on that before that continues to be the storyline for this. Now, let's talk about the advice I can give you. I do have the Angel of Strength and the Empress. So this is definitely staying strong and determined. This is not wavering on exactly how you feel deep down, but also working on your defensiveness as well, making sure that yes, you are staying determined. Yes, that you're not letting people throw your energy off, but not also coming off hostile, not coming off as being standoffish as well. And also being aware of your own ego. Sometimes we get tripped up in our own ego and it makes us say things out of anger, out of just wanting to get people back. So if you have moments where you're being tested, your patience is being tested, don't fight back with being nasty with words with anybody who you have around you. This could be family, love partners, what have you, because that could really mess up some relationships around you. Others of you, you may have people like that around you. OK, you need to be aware of them trying to dig at you to get or to invoke some sort of response from you. This may be a Leo, okay? I do have the Empress card. This may be somebody who you have kids with. This may be your child where you guys have really bad arguments. Um, for some of you, if you are a mother as well, you do need to stay determined to keep pushing forward in your motherhood, even if it is being a little tough uh, on you right now, you, you definitely do need to keep pushing yourself. And possibly even take a, a mom day, okay? Sometimes you, you're so engulfed in your children that you don't even have time for yourself. And then, yeah, it can drive you kind of crazy. So if you are a mother, definitely take some time for yourself. Now, moving on from this, what I am seeing for the advice or not advice, the obstacle that may come up. I do have the attachment card and the tower in reverse, Okay, so this is being super attached to things that are not not helping us move forward in life. With the attachment card, this could be negative relationships that keep you stuck in a point in your life where you're not moving forward. And you'll know what it is because you'll realize that, hey, I've been stuck in this situation for so long and there's no change that's came out of this, but change for the worse. So if there is any situation, this could be like a smoking addiction that you're attached to that's keeping you mentally stuck so that you won't move forward and focus on your dreams this could be a relationship and I'm just throwing out things don't take it personally if it's not that everybody's watching this reading okay um with the attachment card yeah like I said this could be a relationship that's holding you back from working on yourself as an individual this could be your own mindset you have an limiting mindset and you're not you know seeing yourself for who you truly are as well 
This could also just be attachments to just bad habits and things of that nature, or just, again, a negative perspective. And with the tower in reverse, there's a lot of tower circumstances the universe has been trying to protect you from. But in certain cases, if you guys don't realize where you are attached to certain things that are detrimental to you, they can't protect you any longer. I hope that makes any sense. A lot of you, you've been dancing with <laughs> dancing with fire. OK, I'm going to title the video this playing with fire. You guys have been definitely playing with fire with certain situations where, you know, either, you know, the person's married or something like that. And, you know, it's just a hot mess as, of a situation or things just you'll know what it is when I say that okay the universe is saying if you keep playing with fire so long you might end up getting burnt in some case so be careful um if you're any in any situation where you are you know again playing with fire and you know putting your feelings on the burner literally okay so now let's talk about the outcome I do have the door to romance. Yeah, door to romance. And I also have the judgment card in reverse. So I am seeing that there is some sort of door to new love or love that's already pre-existing to open up for you guys. Okay. I have the 33 number up here. So that equals a six. And in my head with the six, this is about give and take. Uh, a balanced relationship. So for a lot of you with the judgment card in reverse, make sure you're making the best decision for yourself. If you want a balanced relationship, if there is an issue with a relationship being equal, where like, okay, you're putting the same work or this person's putting in the same work that you're putting in on the relationship, vice versa, or financially, whatever it may be. But with the judgment in reverse and the seven of swords in reverse, be careful who you accept, accept back into your life. For some of you, the best thing for you to do is to avoid someone because they may be kind of deceptive. Others of you, you may be finally making a decision to not avoid someone and finally communicate with them. This could be somebody who you stopped talking to for a while because they were kind of giving you a lot of issues energetically, getting on your damn nerves. And a lot of you, like I said, you may be no longer avoiding them or this person may be no longer avoiding you. So if you got ghosted, this person is going to open up on why they ghosted you. Okay, so. Let's see, let's talk a little bit. Oh, no. Hold on, actually. Sorry about that, guys. No, let's not do that. Those these, these need to stay right here. Let's actually pull some cards from this deck. Alrighty, so let's see what else your spirit guides have to say to you. These are going to be like some mess some messages coming from your divine spirit guides. So let's see. Capricorns for January 25th through the 27th. What's the messages they need to hear? Okay, so we have wedding. So a lot of you in a marriage that you may be in right now. You guys definitely need to come to some sort of common ground instead of just taking this perspective of, OK, we're going to just separate because we can't see eye to eye. It's just a cop out. I'm going to just be honest with you guys. OK, it's a cop out because marriage is a serious commitment. Marriage is something that it, it involves paperwork. Anything that involves any sort of legal document to do is it, something pretty serious. So when you marry it's almost till death do you part. Okay. So there is a need for some sort of resolution to happen or some, at least some sort of common ground where you guys are on the same page on what you guys are going to do moving forward. But for a relationship to be rocky and to cop out and to not fix it is not going to help anybody moving forward. If anything, it's just going to put both of you guys in debt at the end and waste your own time. So be aware of how you're interacting with your partner. Others of you, if you're in a relationship where somebody is married, um, make sure that this person is not lying to you, telling you that they're going to leave their wife anytime soon, because there may be a holdup on that and they may already know about this and may be just telling you that. Okay. Um, for some of you, if you're married and you're trying to date outside of your marriage, you may also need to kind of slow down really quick because there still may be some details of your marriage that need to be worked out. And you just don't want to get yourself caught up in a whole bunch of drama before you've even gotten divorced. That's for somebody out there. Okay. 
Okay, so we have the butterfly card. Never know how to say the name, but it's okay. <laughs> With this, there is some sort of deep transformation that is going to be taking place. There, definitely some deep transformation that's going to take place. This is going to be, you guys, liberating yourself from, again, a limiting perspective. This is constantly thinking that you have to give yourself 100% to other people when people don't give anything back to you. For a lot of you as well, you could be realizing that your kindness is being taken for a weakness and you possibly like buckling down and being like, look, I'm not going to allow you to just run all over me is something that's also going to help you. So make sure you're standing your ground when it comes to a connection with somebody. If you just have somebody who keeps coming in and out of your life, doesn't want to be a stable partner, doesn't want to show anything for it. Don't even entertain it. Make sure you're standing your ground in regards to what your beliefs are. For some of you, if you do work a server job and you hate it, you would make more money doing something that is of service to people still, but just in a different field. That's for somebody out there. <laughs> Okay, definitely for maybe two people with that message. Um, for some of you, you may even get proposed to or you if you're a male, you may even want to propose to a woman. I meant to say that when I saw this wedding card, um, there may be somebody in your life, a female in your life. And this is for my male Capricorns watching this. There may be a female in your life who you're very much in love with. You may be realizing that she is somebody who wants to be of service to this relationship and wants to give their all to it. And you guys may be taking that connection a lot more serious, uh, moving into this time frame. Okay. Okay. All right, let's pull another card. Okay. So we have the hope card in reverse. So yeah, so with this, this is you guys needing to make sure because with the hope card up front or upright, this would be somebody being so hopeful that they're kind of blind to reality. And needing to take the blindfolds off. So with this being in reverse, for a lot of you, you've taken the blindfolds off. You've seen the reality of a situation. Now it's just getting the momentum to change that around for yourself is the most important thing. If you feel like a circumstance is just so out of your control, this may be due to the fact that your mindset is out of control because Really and truly, the solutions to our problems are always right in front of our face. We just get so caught up on the fact that there's a problem. We don't think about the solution aspect. What is the solution? We, we think, OK, well, I dropped my spaghetti on the floor. Well, what is the solution to that? I'm going to pick the spaghetti up and then I'm going to make me some new spaghetti. OK, now focusing on the problem only does this create a bigger problem, which is anxiety, which is doubt, which is worry, which is negative thinking, which is, again, in turn, making you just fall into bigger and bigger problems due to the fact that you haven't nipped the first problem in the butt. You just focused on the fact that there was a problem. Even the word problem, when you, when you even say that something's a problem, you're reiterating to the universe that it's something that can't can't be fixed or something like that, which is not the case. Okay. Okay. So we do have the cheerfulness card in reverse. So yeah. So for a lot of you, this is definitely you also needing to be aware of the people that you keep around you. Um, usually I would see this as going out and stuff like that, which we will talk about, but with the cheerfulness card in reverse, this is about friendships. I'm seeing this is about friendships you may have certain people around you who may not be completely happy for you in certain aspects um, or they just don't have the best motives or they're just not supporting you as an individual. Like sometimes we have friends who don't want to do anything with their lives. So then they drag us down because they're limited. So be careful of the company that you keep. Are you just hanging out with people who want to just hang out and drink all day and not handle responsibilities? Or do you want to stay on top of that? That's for like my younger viewers here who are like 20 <laughs> watching this. That's something that you guys probably needed to hear. But others of you, yeah, this is the company you keep. You may have some fake friends around you. Hmm. 
some weird shaky energy but we're gonna finish the reading off on the other side thank you so much for viewing this if you are interested in seeing the breakdown of what's going on in your love life we're gonna do a full love spread over on my patreon so definitely join us over there also, you can sign up for my channel memberships, whichever platform you want to be on is up to you. All of my links will be listed below as well as my booking information. And I will see each and every one of my Capricorns on my Patreon.